Hey folks, this is Brian Ludden with Pinnacle Property Group. And today we are here on Boat Club Drive. It's one of Pinnacle Building Solutions, uh, custom home build for a customer and wanted to kind of walk you through this stage of the construction. We have some workers in the back who are working and this is a very unique project. Um, it's a very low lying lot and wanted to kind of go over what we're doing as far as for the construction in order to meet the requirements as far as for flood elevation. So what I'm going to do is we're going to do a quick little walkthrough over here. Might have some noise going on in the background, but just bear with us, all right? So, the first thing I wanna do is, is point out that this over here is a nine core stem wall. So, the ground level is basically where I'm standing at right now. The finished floor is up here. So, let me just kind of show you how tall this is. So it's, I'm six feet tall. This is pretty much as tall as me right here. So nine courses that we went up. Um, we also had to fill this with fill. All this right here, this stem wall is filled with concrete. And then you have your footer as far as below. So when you're building something like this, it's just not putting up the stem wall, but it's also having the access of getting the dirt in here um, there's also filling costs as far as filling the concrete wall. You have to take an extended forklift just to bring the block up here as far as to the top. Um, so there's a lot of additional costs that you can run into as far as during the construction process. So it's really important to know where your finished floor, where, your, where the elevation starts off as far as on your lot and where your finished floor elevation needs to be. And as of today in 2020, um, the uh, state requires you to be one foot above flood elevation. So if this is a 10 foot flood elevation, the finished floor will have to be 11 feet. Now I'm gonna take you around to the back over here too and just show you as far as the pool. Basically the pool is out of the ground. So we're gonna walk back here. All of this, this right here is the footer for the pool. Then we're gonna have the retaining wall as far as we're over here. And you can basically see how tall the pool is right now. So basically what's gonna happen is the retaining wall is gonna be built up as far as for fall protection, things like that. You're gonna have pickets that go around as far as to the side where there's any walkable areas. And then, you know, another associated cost when you have to do this too, is you gotta also remember, you gotta stucco it, you gotta paint it. Um, so it's really important to make sure you get a good lot evaluation. Um, I always recommend during the process that you're purchasing a lot that you get a very good survey as far as for the property, a survey with elevations on it. Just not a survey with the, the boundaries as far as for the property, but it's really important to have the elevation so you know where you're starting from and then you know where you're gonna end up. Thanks folks for watching this video on Pinnacle Building Solutions' latest build. And if you wanna have, see more videos like this, please make sure to like, comment below, and share. Until next time, I'm Brian Ludden with Pinnacle Property Group.